This right here, this is the product that we are going to be talking about today. If you are a reptile keeper, whether you are a beginner, intermediate, advanced, you've been doing this for 30 years, whatever your level of experience in the reptile hobby is, you have probably at least heard of these, you know, these red heat lamps that are marketed for reptiles. Many of you watching this video probably are either considering using one, maybe you already do use one, maybe you have used them in the past, I don't know. What I'm saying is I feel like most people watching this video probably know what these are. For those who maybe are not familiar with this product though, let's just give it a quick little uh, description. So this is essentially just a heat bulb. So it is a light bulb, you know, I'll take it out of the package right here. So this is what the bulb looks like out of the package. So it's just a light bulb, but as you can see, it is red in color. So these are heat lamps that are used typically for reptiles. You know, they can be used for other animals that require heat, but normally reptiles are the most common animals that I see uh, heat lamps being used with. So we're just going to say reptiles. Reptiles are cold blooded animals, which means they need external heat and stuff to regulate their body temperatures. So when we keep these animals in captivity, oftentimes, you know, depending on the species and their needs, we provide them with things like heat lamps, heat pads, radiant heat panels, whatever. So what is so special about these then? If there's so many different heating devices that people use, and if these are so commonly used, what so special about them? Why, why do I want to make a whole video talking about a single light bulb? That's a good question because I don't know. The main reason why I want to make a video talking about this product is basically just because overall it is a fairly controversial product and some people know of this and other people don't. So I thought why not talk about it and you know we can just take a look at this product and hopefully whatever I say in this video will help you make the decision on if this is a product that you think you should use or not. All of that said now, let's just go ahead and start talking about red heat lamps and why you should or shouldn't be using them with your animals. We're gonna find out. So I'm just gonna come out and say it right from the start. I am not a fan of red heat bulbs. I don't personally use them with any of my animals. I will say I have in the past. I have been keeping reptiles for a very long time and working with reptiles. I have used red heat lamps in the past. However, where I am today, you know, with my hobby and just my knowledge and you know, all that, I do not like red heat lamps. I do not use them and I personally would not recommend anyone else using them. So let's talk about why, because I can't just say they're bad, don't use them. You know, we're gonna take a look at them and get a better understanding of why I don't personally think they're the best option for your animals. So my big issue with red heat lamps is just the fact that they are marketed as nocturnal lights. So you can see it right on here, it says a nocturnal infrared bulb. Um, I've seen other brands, you know, every brand obviously has their own packaging. Uh, other brands specifically say on the box for nighttime use uh, that they don't produce visible light. So let's talk about that. The original thought process or purpose, I guess, behind red heat lamps was basically it was once believed that reptiles could not see the color red, therefore they could not see uh, red light produced by a red bulb. This however is not true and this is where the big uh, controversy comes in I guess. Even if an animal can't see the color red, it does not mean that they can't see the visible light produced by this bulb. So when you go and turn on one of these light bulbs, you know, it obviously produces a pretty red light, you know, to the human eye, it is very noticeable that it is red. To animals though, do they really know? Uh, I can't really say, you know, I don't have gecko eyes. I don't entirely know how they work. I am not a scientist who has studied them. However, based off the information that is available, we know that even if they cannot see the color red, there's still light being produced and they still can actually see the visible light. You know, even if it's red and even if they can't see red, they can still 
see the visible light produced by the bulb. So there you can kind of see where the big issue with them being nocturnal bulbs is. So oftentimes people use red heat lamps for overnight use. Not always, some people just use them during the day, but I very often see them being used throughout the night as well. People do this so that they can provide heat to their animals, you know, 24 seven, or maybe have a little bit of extra viewing of their animals. However, most people who use these bulbs don't realize that it's not the best for their animal. And you know, I am not here to get mad at or blame anyone who has or is using red bulbs. Like I said, I use them myself. All I'm here to do is tell you guys what I know, so then hopefully, you know, now you know a little bit more and hopefully can make some decisions on if it's a product you wanna keep using or not. So just based off the way that red heat lamps are marketed and presented, many, many, many people, you know, believe that is true that reptiles cannot see the light. So therefore, you know, they think it is fine to have on 24 seven, when in reality, your animal can actually see the light, even if it can't see the color red. As you can imagine, this then can very much disrupt the animal's circadian rhythm. It can disrupt their sleep cycle. You know, whether you have a diurnal animal or a nocturnal animal, having some amount of light like that on 24 seven is not really natural to them. In the wild, yeah, there is is some light during the nighttime, whether it just is from city lights or if you're somewhere not near a city from the moon. However, you know, it is not natural for these animals to have a light shining directly above them 24 seven for their whole lives. So for that reason, I do not recommend using red heat lamps, especially at night, because like I said, your animal can actually see the light and it's going to disrupt their sleeping patterns and everything like that. Even if your animal doesn't show any visible signs that it's stressed out, or maybe doesn't have a normal uh, sleeping schedule or something like that doesn't mean that there isn't a potential issue going on. The thing with reptiles is minor stresses don't really show themselves at all. If a reptile is just maybe very, very minorly stressed by one thing, it doesn't always present itself until maybe a few years down the line when your reptile's immune system has weakened so much from this prolonged stress that it then starts falling ill. So even if you don't have anything telling you immediately that this light bulb you're using isn't good for your animal. Think about the long term and the fact that, you know, you don't really know how this could affect them long term. So what about daytime use? Because now I'm sure a lot of people have the question, well, you know, if I shouldn't use it during the nighttime, is it still fine to use during the daytime? I'm going to be completely honest and say I don't really know. I will tell you what I think and in my opinion I would just say to avoid them altogether. The reason for this is even if you're only using the light during the day, you know, it's still just not at all a natural light to them. You know, when in the wild does an animal have a bright red light shining on them 24 seven? Ideally never. <laughs> I can't think of really any situation where an animal would, so hopefully never, but I don't know, maybe. But that's the big thing to me, is it's just, it is not a natural light color for them at all. I will say I have seen some people come out and say that colored lights can cause eye damage over time, uh, so that is potentially something to consider. I do wanna say I don't know if this is a fact. It is something I've seen online before, but I've never once actually seen any sort of like, evidence on this. I've just kind of seen people saying that, so if it's true or not, I don't really know. But with that being an unknown, I don't like it to be something that I would risk, you know? I don't wanna risk things that are unknown when I have other options that I know are much better. Hopefully that makes sense. So overall, I am not a fan of red lights, both just because, you know, the way that they're marketed tricks people into thinking that they're fine to have on 24 seven, when in reality they're not. This is very disruptive to the animal. And then again, even if you are only using them during the day, I think it's still debatable on if it is good or not for the animal to be exposed to that type of light for so long. Again, I don't know if it is actually harmful to them at all. Some people claim it is. However, like I said, it is an unknown, so don't take that as a fact unless you happen to find any other research. If you do, however, if you do happen to have any sort of knowledge on that, I would love to hear it down below. So just, just as a little side note, if you do have knowledge on 
if red heat lamps or colored lights uh, can cause eye damage, please, please let me know. That would be very interesting to know about. So now that you've just listened to me go on and ramble and be negative about this product for the last 10 minutes or whatever, you know, you might be wondering like, okay, if I shouldn't use this product that I have been using and normally use, what should I use? You know, and that is a good question. I can't you know, make decisions for anyone, but again, you know, offer you my input. So let's talk about some other alternatives to red heat lamps. The first alternative that I would say is just a regular heat lamp. So now these are typically fairly white or yellow in color, you know, fairly natural light color. These I have never had any problem with. I use them on many of my animals. However, the thing is, you don't want to use these at nighttime. These should only be a daytime bulb, which for many animals is perfectly fine because a lot of reptiles actually benefit from a cool down period at night but for some species and you know just depending on your care style a lot of people like to have a heat source for their animal 24 7 so if you're someone who is looking for a heat source 24 7 i would honestly just say stay away from bulbs completely i don't think there's really any light bulb that is going to be a good 24 7 solution Instead, you should start looking into things like heat pads or ceramic heat emitters or radiant heat panels or something like an Arcadia Deep heat projector. These are all heating devices that don't produce any light at all. So a heat pad typically goes on the underneath of your tank and just sticks to the bottom and heats it from the top up. This works for some animals, however some animals or just some people prefer to have heating coming from the top down, which is typically what a heat lamp does. So if you're looking for a heating device that works from the top down and you can leave on 24 seven, I'm going to recommend something like a radiant heat panel, a ceramic heat emitter, or an Arcadia deep heat projector. I'm not going to talk too much specifics about each one of these because this video is primarily about these red bulbs right here, but I will tell you that all of these options are options that don't emit any light at all. A ceramic heat emitter is essentially like a light bulb, you know, it screws into the same uh, light fixture as this would. It looks slightly different, but it's the same idea as just, you know, something you screw into the fixture and it heats it from the top down. It's essentially a lightless heat lamp almost, if you will. Again, it's not a lamp, but similar comparison. And then there's something like the Arcadia Deep Heat Projector, which again is also just something you would screw into the fixture and then it produces heat with no visible light. A radiant heat panel is slightly different. Like I said, it's a panel, not a bulb. So a radiant heat panel kind of helps to emit heat over a wider area. Now radiant heat panels can be used like on the bottom of an enclosure underneath, or it can also be placed on the top to uh, allow heat to come down. So if you're someone who has has previously used these bulbs or still uses them and you're kind of stressed out now knowing that you don't want to use this bulb but you don't really know what else to do just know that there are plenty of options for you in my opinion all of these options ceramic heat emitters DP projectors all of those are 100 times better than this red heat lamp so I would highly highly recommend making the switch if you are someone who uses these now that we've gone ahead and talked about this product and kind of how it works or doesn't work for that matter Matter. And we also talked about some different options that you could use in place of a red heat lamp, such as a ceramic heat emitter. I'm going to go and end the video here. I do really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and hopefully you learned something about these products and just animals in general and heating and whatever. I don't know, hopefully you learned something or enjoyed this at least. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, it would mean a ton to me. Also, if you would like to, you can check out all of my social media. It will all be in the description down below. I would love to have you guys there. So with all that said, I am just going to end it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video.